Hey, what's up, Ning YouTube? What's going on? Uh, Jalam and Tech over here, live and direct. Um, you know, doing something new. It's only uh, right, right? Uh, you know, we're in the pandemic days anyway, right? So working from home and all that good stuff, right? Um, so I wanted to do something different today, um, you know, by starting my uh, tutorial with a FaceTime, right? Uh, to really personally thank you guys here, my heart here, personally thank you guys for uh, following, for all your support on YouTube, um, you know, for all the subscribe uh, subscriptions, uh, the subscribers. Uh, all the likes, the comments, uh, the helpful comments um, and replies to other comments from uh, fellow tech people uh, that replied and helped other people that had follow-up questions that I was not able to get to on time. So I really appreciate you guys again from my heart. Uh, to give you a bit of a background, um, you know, so I started the YouTube channel uh, because I mean, since little, I think since my teenagers have always been known as that gadgets guy tech guy you know what I mean um, and you know everyone knows me like hey can you show me how to do this oh, oh my tablet is not working or oh, my uh, my computer is not working I mean I'm talking about from the super first computers right uh, well not all first first computers like that would fill up a whole room but you know what I mean computers from back in the days right? Uh, I'm about you know 30 something I'm not gonna tell you my real age uh, well fine I'm 30 okay um, yeah I feel like I'll, I'll get personal with you guys it's alright just for this one so I'm 30 um, and yeah I spend a lot of time in a third world country so yes uh, my age not, not might not be there but I did experience a lot of hand-me-down from other countries kind of you know technology equipments uh, anyhow so yeah so I've been known uh, getting off track there for a second right I've been known to be that tech guy you know so and it got annoying while I liked it it got a little bit annoying because when I visit people instead of just visiting you know it's like hey my computer's not working hey my tablet is not working hey my laptop is not working or hey how do I figure this out um, you know um, technology and cars and everything which is why you know I do everything technology which is why my channel might seem a little bit vague because it's just there's technology about cars I mean if anywhere there's technology um, you will see something about it in my channel and more more loading I've had I've, I have good plans um, in, uh, in in the books loading to come to you guys but anyway so I've been doing that for years like I said since I was really young and um, I decided that uh, in 2015 actually yeah so this channel has been around although I haven't really been active on it because again I'm not doing it for money uh, I just love to help um, share my tips with you uh, things that I also discover in my day-to-day -day because no one is super know-it-all when it comes to you know the technology world you you learn right you go in it you learn um, as you go um, so I share those with you uh, as I go um, but yeah so starting 2015 I started doing that you know just figured you know because some of my um, my followers um, yeah, I'm just I just think the brightness here yeah some of my followers are you know although it's a mix of age groups right but um, yeah mostly older um, not very techy kind of people which means a bit slow when it comes to following technology. So I thought, you know, YouTube, they can pause the video, they can replay, uh, they can slow, uh, you know, it gives them the ability to slow it down, really, uh, to get what they're trying to achieve, right? So uh, that was the whole idea about the, uh, the creating the YouTube channel. I actually had no idea that you can monetize, that people make money from YouTube. Um, until much recently so I'm at 700 subscribers it would be nice it would be nice to start making money maybe that will encourage me to you know do even more videos down the road uh, but yeah it's not why I created it um, 
but I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to those 701 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I think I'll start monetizing when I hit uh, a thousand subscribers. So 300 more to go. I know it's like nothing compared to uh, people with millions of subscribers, but hey, again, helping people comes first. And knowing that some of my videos have gotten, you know, over 150,000 views is something. It means something to me. Uh, some of them like hundreds of comments, almost thousand comments, just how grateful people are. That makes my day. That means more than any money to me, and I appreciate that. Anyway, when I, without any further ado, we're gonna dive right into it. Uh, this is unedited. I'm not editing this. This is just live and natural. You know, guys, I'm just gonna give it to you just like I'm recording it, okay? Uh, but we're gonna dive into why we are here. Um, you know, um, enough about me and all of that. We're gonna dive right in. So anyway, so this video uh, is about uh, something that makes my life easier and I want to share it with you guys in case it makes your life easier when it comes to working from home you know so from home we don't have a second screen um, you know we probably have two computers if you're anything like me right you got a Mac and a PC uh, that you need to effectively do your work but it would be nice also to be able to really marry those two right where you can extend what you're looking at from your PC, for example, if that's your main uh, platform, uh, extend it over to your Mac or vice versa, right? So I've been looking at possibilities, looking at ways to just cross platform, right? But as you know, Windows and Mac don't work really well. Um, and I've looked around, some, some tutorials will tell you that uh, you, need, uh, you need to actually have Windows running on your Mac using bootcamp and all that uh, this tutorial you don't as you've seen in the title you don't need any of that it only takes like five minutes and you'll set it up and you'll be up and going okay um so the tool that you need is called air parrot i've been using them for actually i think about over three or four years yeah for when they first came out air parrot right because uh, i had a mac in the back in the days that was not able to do airplay like mirroring like the one that apple does and i wanted uh, something a third party app that does it and air parrot so so enough came through and i've been with them have had any uh, every upgrade since then now they're at air parrot 3 okay and they have reflector so the two applications that you're gonna need is one air parrot 3 which is what i'm using and you're gonna need reflector 3 Okay, I'll leave links below uh, in the in the descriptions uh, so you can get this for yourself. But yeah, if you're interested in extending uh, your screen over, this is the video for you. All right, so we're gonna go and dive right in. Okay, so just as I was explaining, guys, this is my Windows right here. Okay, so what I'm tr what I am doing is I extend my Windows into my Mac. Okay, without running windows on mac right incredible so this is you can see when i do this it comes over right actually i'll show you something even better let's say i open safari here right and then i open two tabs right oh, we're gonna accept that so i open two tabs right here right so i can extend this guy over stay with me Right, so you can see I'm dragging it, dragging it over to the Mac right here. Bingo. Uh, I could do the same with Chrome as well. Right here, let's say I do this, right? I'm working on multiple tabs. I can just drag this right here. This is a little bit more graphic, actually, so you can see half of it is coming through, right? Just like you're extending your screen over, right? And then boom right here so this lets me multitask I can do multiple things at the same time but as you can see I can still have my notifications as well right on my Mac and on the Mac okay you can choose to make this full screen by clicking on that and make it full screen this is the demo but part of it also shows you how this thing works anyway okay 
So, oops, I moved this guy. So I'm just gonna do this. And switch it to full screen. This is probably the longest video I've made besides the car videos, but bear with me because I'm not editing this guy, okay? I'm not editing this. I'm just gonna give this as natural as possible. But yeah, you can see I got notifications coming through, right? Uh, even though this is running, I can still get notifications through, right? Uh, but what I was gonna show you is I can still, it's, this, is, this is not taking over my Mac. I can still use the Mac for other things as well, which is what I love is that re one of the reasons why I'm also having a Mac uh, or working on a Mac uh, is that I can, I can stay away from my phone and do lo lots of my notifications here. Um, or reply to most of, most of my notifications like messages or WhatsApp and all that on here, right? Um, but then even better, like I said, now I can extend my screen over right there uh, and I can do double work. So how do you do this? Okay, first you need to go into Air Parrot. Okay, so again, the link is gonna be in the descriptions. So you're gonna get Air Parrot, Air Parrot, like the bird, okay? And then you're gonna hit dot com. Okay. Uh, I did hit dot co there, but that's fine. So it should come up here in a second. Air parrot. So it takes you to this right here, which is cool. So that's basically their handle, right? So this is currently the one that they're using Air Parrots 2. That's the new update. Um, I started with Air Parrot 1, 2, and now at 3, right? So you need to get this, okay? Uh, you download this on your Windows if or the, the computer that you're going to be extending from. In this case, it's my Windows computer. I'm going to be extending from here to this, right? So you download it from here, right? Once you install it and all, it's only $15, by the way. Well, $15.99, so $16, but you can also try it for seven days, which is what I'm doing with Reflector, right? Uh, which is the second application that you're gonna need, okay? So, once you have it downloaded, installed and all that, this is what it's gonna look like right here, okay? You have display where you can just use it to mirror you can also open individual applications only. You can do audio only, right? Um, um, and then you, you, I'm using it to extend. So when I do extend, you can see that I can see my MacBook Pros here. I can do where it's just uh, just extending just uh, the screen, or I can have it where it shows the the taskbar and everything, the start menu, and all that. So it's almost looking like I'm running Windows on Mac, right? As you can see. On here, I can go on here, right? I can get all of the Windows stuff, right, on the Mac. So that's two. That's, that's the two options that you're looking at here. So that's the first one is the computer. You can you basically mirror the whole computer, uh, or you can just use it as a monitor to extend the screen, okay? So, so you download this, and then you go on the Mac, okay? So you open any browser that you use, right? So what we'll do is we'll go into the Mac application, not the extended screen, right? So at this point, anyway, you haven't done it yet, so you wouldn't use the extended screen anyway. So you go ahead and click on that, okay? And you use your browser or, I mean, whatever browser you use, right? And then you search for download reflector. It's the same company that makes them anyway, both applications, right? So download reflector, all right, hit that. That's gonna take you to the same website again, Air Scrolls, but don't worry, the link is gonna be in the description uh, of this video, okay? And then you click on reflector, right? Scroll down here, choose your application. In this case, it will be for Mac. Right, so you can do the trial or you can just download it. Download free trial, uh, which will let you purchase it, or you can just hit purchase here, which this one is 18 bucks. What this does is it basically lets you receive uh, mirroring from uh, devices that don't have mirroring capabilities. Does that make sense? So it lets you receive, okay? So Air Parrot lets you project 
reflector lets you reflect. So you see how these two connect basically. So it lets you connect and have them, um, you know, work side by side. So once you have that, obviously you install it, you do go through all the Mac installation, you click on it, open it, right? It's gonna come up in your taskbar right up here, right? In your um, status bar, whatever Mac calls this, right? So you just um, have it on there, just leave it running. Then you're gonna go back here and do the steps that I showed you earlier. So you go and open Air Parrot from your desktop, okay? So I'm hoping that everyone knows how to open an application. So I'm just gonna, but I'll do it anyway, because again, I have lots of different kinds of followers when it comes to technology, um, different levels, right? Anyway, so you just go ahead and double click on that, opens that into this right here. Uh, and then you hit extend uh, the desktop. And then I use the computer version so that way it just sends the whole computer uh, image over. Well, as in the you know screen over, so that because I like to be able to use the text bar and all that. But you can just do the the extending, just the screen uh, like a window, instead of like the whole thing, right? So once you do that, basically that's it, guys. So you can see now you can extend. You know this is the mouse right here, and this is it right here, right, right. And that's how that works, guys. So again, sorry, this has a lot of unnecessary stuff on it uh, that is not related or unrelated. That would be a better word, right? Um, and normally I would cut all that out, but um, again, I'll keep this raw. Anyway, so this is it, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up as usual. Comment for any questions and um, subscribe. All right, subscribe, get us to the thousand subscribers for a start, um, you know, uh, and I'll be making more, much more videos and continue doing this more, perhaps uh, full time sometime. All right. Once again, from Jalam in Tech.